Welcome to today's yin yoga class. We will stretch out your hips and IT bands. So come on, on your mat and let's begin by lying down on your back, coming into a figure four stretch or also called sleeping swan in yin yoga. Bend both knees with your feet flat on the ground and then cross your right ankle over your left knee, right foot is flexed. If you feel a stretch in your right hip here, stay in this first option or you can reach through with your arms, pulling your left knee in towards your chest. Hold on to your shin or thigh. So there's a little bit of engagement in the arms required here. But really try to relax everything else as much as you can. Notice if there's tension around your eyes or in your jaw. Let that go. Neck relaxed, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. And if you can't relax here, maybe try making it a little bit easier by placing a pillow or folded blanket underneath your head. It makes it easier to hold this one. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Come out of the pose, release your left foot back down to the ground. Staying in this position, we will move to the next pose, which is an IT band stretch. So shift your hips over to the right and then let your knee and foot fall to the left. So now the sole of the right foot is all the way down on the floor on your left side. Gently push your right knee away from you. So you should feel a stretch in your right IT band, side of the right hip. You can hold on to your right foot with your left hand. Right arm goes out to the sides in a cactus shape, bent at 90 degrees at the elbow. And don't go too far. Remember that we want to stay at about a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10 in yin. Feel 
find your edge and then just breathe. Come out of this pose, gently release the legs, back to center, and as a counter pose, we will pull the knees, both knees, in towards the chest and squeeze, maybe rock from side to side, gently release the lower back. Do whatever feels good to you in this moment. And take a mental note on how you're feeling right now. However you're feeling is okay. Release the hold of the legs, soles of the feet, come back to the ground. Coming to the second side of Sleeping Swan. This time you're crossing your left ankle over your right thigh, left foot is flexed. Maybe staying here if this is enough or reaching out with your arms to hold on to the shin or thigh. Gently pull it in towards you and relax the arms and your shoulders as much as possible.
If your mind starts wandering, simply bring your focus back on your breath. Watching your belly rise and fall and listening to the sound of each in-breath and each out-breath. Let's release the right foot back down to the floor. Coming into our IT band stretch on the next side, let the left sole of the foot drift down to the floor towards your right side, allowing the knee to press away from you. So don't yank it away, gently push it a little bit away from you. Everything mindful movements and again you should feel a stretch in your left IT band left side of the hip you can hold on to the right ankle with your right hand and your left arm can go out to the sides for some extra opening in your chest and shoulders but you can always just rest it, rest it beside you.
Let's release this pose, return to laying on your back and again pull both knees into your chest, give them a big squeeze, maybe this time making some circles in one direction and the other, releasing the lower back and taking a mental note of how your hips feel after this little sequence. And when you're ready, meet me in Shavasana, both legs straight, stretched out, arms rest beside you, giving yourself full permission to, to just be and rest. This is where I will leave you. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. And maybe even be proud of yourself for taking this time to prioritize your own well-being. And know that however this class went for you, you did enough because you are enough, right now and in every moment. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. I hope to practice again with you soon. Namaste.